Hey everyone, uh, James Hobbs here, and I just wanted to make a video about uh, this server, EFCraft, which basically uh, I've been kind of running this server for a couple months now. Uh, Ian used to be the uh, the owner, but he kind of uh, lost interest, so I took over. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of go through what this server has to offer and kind of give a quick tutorial on how to get started. So when you join, you're going to be kind of placed in this cage here. And you can kind of read the signs if you want. But the main thing is you got to right-click this sign here. So when you right-click... Oh! 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 Hold on a second. There we go. Let me fix that. There we go. So when you right click this sign here, it will teleport you to the first quest. And in the quest, you basically have to do... There we go. Alright, so you basically have to uh, collect leather by killing all these cows here. And once you uh, get all the leather, you craft a full set of armor, and then you type cow slayer. So we have these supply signs, which kind of you right click, and then you're given one of these wooden swords, or you can get, take a bunch of them if you want, and you kind of use them to uh, kill all these cows here. So I'm not going to kill them all, I'm kind of cheat. Um, so I'll cheat real quick, right, so full leather armor, let's get rid of some of these things. Full leather armor from the cows. And all the stuff that you collect from the cows, you can keep. I mean, you won't kind of lose them after you beat the quest. But this armor is going to go away. Because it detects that, oh, you've proved yourself wor worthy of getting build rights, so you can come play on the server. So you type in Cow Slayer, and then voila! You have completed the Cow Slayer quest. And you can do that over and over again. People on the server will be really happy for you. I'll say thank you, congrats, whatever. But um, the next thing you're going to see is this spawn. So John, who's an admin on the server, made this spawn with the help of a bunch of others like Watch and, and Bob. And I helped a little bit. but. Um, What's nice about this spawn is it's just really simple. Essentially what we have are four roads going in different directions. And you can go on any of the roads. They'll go out from the very center here, 10,000 blocks out. So we have 10,000 uh, radius. And you can build anywhere you want. So this is the survival world aspect. We have a lot of different, this is kind of a hybrid server. So we have a lot of things that you can do on the server, but whatever you like to do, we usually uh, have that. Or if we don't, then just let us know and we'll try to uh, add it at a later date or something. But um, the next thing you'll probably want to do is click on this warp sign, which takes you to the new player area. So you right click this thing, it'll take you somewhere here. Another way to get here is if you type uh, forward slash newbie. It'll also take you here also. So in this room, it kind of gives you very brief details, like uh, who's in the Hall of Fame, what's over here, some news, if we ever have any, we usually don't post anything on there, but we might. Uh, you can vote, so if you type in claim, it'll give you links to these voting sites, and when you vote, everyone gets a cookie, and uh, if you vote so many times, I keep track of how many times you've voted consecutively and uh, cumulative. And if you um, get the, enough votes, then you get these vouchers. And what these vouchers are used for is for uh, doing various things. So you get you can get diamond vouchers, so if you do claim diamond and you have some. Oh, that's a bug. <laughs> I'll fix that later. But I will have it so that when you claim diamond, it will uh, give you some diamonds. Maybe, maybe one diamond, but we'll see. But uh, that's just kind of thank you for uh, voting on the server, even though it doesn't work right now. I'll get that working ASAP.
But in this room here, we have ranks and promotions. And basically what this uh, tells you is all the ranks on the server. We're adding some new ones in, in a couple of days, but uh, these are the current ranks. And it tells you what you need to do in order to rank up. So for example, we have the Cow Slayer quest, which you uh, might have just seen me do, where you hunt the cows and you type Cow Slayer and you rank up. What this room tells you is for each uh, rank, uh, what you need to do in order to get to the next rank. There's a few that we haven't really uh, completed yet, but uh, those are kind of the really high ranks. I don't think anyone's reached those ranks yet. But um, some people have made it pretty far in a short amount of time just by coming in this room and focusing on exactly what they have to do. One thing that we've been trying to do with all these ranks is to uh, get, get you uh, accustomed to what we have on the server. So, uh, for instance, uh, we have a bunch of plugins that I made, which I'll get to in a little bit, and some of these ranks require you to uh, kind of explore those plugins and check them out. So, let's start with the first rank that you get. So, after you complete the Cow Slayer quest, you'll become a Hole Digger. And the requirement to get ranked up for Hole Digger is just basically just build a basic house and make a gabble roof. And not many people know what a gabble roof is, but it's not a non-flat roof. So, if you do these things on the Hole Digger board, then uh, you'll rank up up to the uh, labor. So one thing that a lot of people ask about is res protection. And basically the way res protection works is it protects your house so that people can't grief it. And I've seen a lot of servers where they uh, charge you money and stuff like that in order to protect your stuff or buy a plot of land or something. But on this server we kind of uh, laid back and we just let people uh, have most of the abilities that uh, most servers uh, charge money for. Like real money. So with res protection, you uh, get a wooden hoe. So let me see if I can do this right. Wooden hoe. Nope. It's wrong. Wood hoe. There we go. So you build a wood hoe. In my case, I can just. I'm an admin, so I have access to all these things. And what you do, like let's say that this hallway is my house or something. So what you do is you left click. It tells you that your primary selection point has been made. And right click the uh, the top point and you can see that I've selected this region here now I have a mod which allows me to see these things you can get it too it's like a world edit mod but it works pretty well and um, anything within this region here that I selected uh, once I do the create command it will be protected so the, the create command is you do forward slash res create and then example region so you replace example region with your name or whatever you want to call your region. And when you hit enter, it creates this region here. And so when you enter the region, it tells you, oh, welcome. And then you leave and enter and whatnot. So that is how you make a region. I'm going to remove it. I remember all these commands. Nope. Oh, wait. Res remove. There we go. Not the region. Alright, so that's how you make a region. And so let's see if I can get rid of that selection. There we go. So once you do all these things, mainly get the res protection going. The house doesn't have to be some anything fan, uh, fantastic, but it's nice to have a, a good starting house because later ranks will require you to like upgrade that house. But um Yeah, then you'll get ranked up. And then laborer, you gotta just build a farm and then protect your farm. What I recommend doing is uh in the hole digger rank, you just include an extra area to include the farm. And if you do that, then you're, you're set. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention was uh, we use uh, the Bose economy plugin. So you type forward slash econ, you can see how much money you have. And from there you can kind of uh, use that econ money to protect things. So we charge like one cent of that, so 0 0.01 per block or something, so it's like really small amount, and that allows you to kind of get a basic res protection going when you first join. And the way that we uh, increase money on this server is uh, we have, here I'll show you, so we have these chest shops, 
And you can make your own shop also. I'll explain how to do that as well. So if you come down here, and you kind of go over here. I think there's one on each side. There's another one over there. There's another one on the other side. So this is a shop. And so in the shop, you got all this stuff. So you have a buy price, which is the B, and the sell price. So in this case, it's em one emerald, so the number one emerald, uh, for 300 to buy it, and then 99 to sell. So if you, if you have anything to sell, so you right click it to buy it, so oh look, I have a, an emerald, and then you hold the emerald and you left click, and you sell it back to the person. And so that's how you buy and sell things. So that's one way to get economy. You can just farm these items and then you come here and you sell them. Another way that we have is you can uh, go into uh, the server and just play around for like a long time and we pay you per hour basically. So uh, every day, uh, probably around this time, actually pretty close to this time, um, we'll give you a payday and that will kind of be free money. Uh, I'm dying. So that's how you kind of make money on the server and how you can get uh, more money to get a bigger res protection. So let me head back to the newbie area. So from here, you uh, do your farm, you let an admin know, and then you rank up from labor. The next one is pipe fitter. So for pipe fitter, you just play. You basically, you need to build a mine now and make a huge freaking mine because you need to collect 216 stacks of cobble which is enough to fill up four double chests so that's going to take you a while I mean one thing that we are all about is we don't want to rush these ranks we want to know that you're trustworthy and we want to know that uh, you deserve the next rank up because each rank gives you new abilities so uh, I won't talk about all the abilities that you can get right now but uh, you can get a bunch of them that's for sure I mean, once you get all the way up to Artisan rank, which is the final, final rank, you basically have basic world edit uh, permissions. So you can use world edit to build stuff. But it's gonna, nobody has gotten Artisan yet, so it is really hard to get. But if you get it, it's, it's well worth it, because you'll have basically amazing abilities. So one thing that I'd like to mention also is that these, all these ranks are completely optional. You can do what they say, or you can uh, build something awesome. Like I said earlier, we're kind of a hybrid server. Right now I'm kind of showing you the survival world. But another thing we have is a creative. So we do have a newbie creative area that everyone has access to after you complete the Cow Slayer quest. So if you type forward slash creative, you can go to the creative area. And then in here you can see all these builds and stuff. And if you make an epic build, we will rank you up for it. We like it when people make amazing things. And we want to kind of, uh, you know, congratulate people and reward people for uh, doing these awesome builds. So an example of an, an epic build, I can, there it is, is this church. So Chronicle, who I think is online, yeah, Chronicle made this church. And we helped her a little bit. I mean, I, I did a little world editing for her. So if you make an epic build, or if you have a plan to make an epic build, you can kind of get our help to do some basic world edit stuff, like copying and pasting things. Like the world edit I did was she made uh, the ceiling, like a couple layers of the ceiling, and I kind of selected it, copied it, and then kind of pasted it all the way back here, and just did the ceiling for her real quick. And it didn't take long for me. It just took me like, I don't know, like a minute or two to do. But, I mean, epic builds are another way to rank up. And ranking is well worth it. Alright, let me head back to newbie. So, that's another way to rank up. So, let's assume that you uh, get your 216 stacks. Next up for that is you get the high 50 diamond, which kind of goes hand in hand the stacks of cobble. So if you mine it right and you get 216 stacks of uh, cobblestone, then you should find a bunch of diamonds while you're doing that. And so that kind of helps you uh, get the next rank after that. Also, one thing that a lot of people do is they get their uh, diamond picks and they add the enchantments on it to uh, allow them to um, mine things faster. 
And so they can, like, for example, they'll put in the, uh, I forget what it's called, it's like, fortune or something. I forget. But it will give you, like, more diamonds. So you can get, like, three diamonds for every diamond ore you find, for example. Alright, so next up, we go to the designer rank. And for this rank, you have to use MC MMO. So we have MC MMO, which basically adds abilities. So as you can see, when I right click, as your sword is ready. So when I hit someone, it will do like some special ability. And the more I use my sword, the higher the level I get. So if I go to, if I type MC stats, you can see your skills. And so you have gathering skills, combat skills, and miscellaneous. So you also have a power level. And that's what this rank's about. So we want you to kind of play in Minecraft and acquire this power level of 777. If you reach that power level, you let an admin know and they'll rank you up. So next, after, after um, designer, you go to sculptor and we want you to upgrade your house. So you make it freaking huge, 21 rooms. Show that you're an, a cool builder and you, uh, you like to build things. And these rooms, I don't, we like to see them kind of all different, or uh, have a cool theme or something. But, I mean, again, this is optional. I mean, you can just make an epic build of whatever you want, and Creative has plenty of room. We just expanded Creative, and it is freaking massive. All right, so now to get on to our custom plugins, because this is the first rank that uses one of our custom plugins. So the first plugin that we uh, kind of bring to you is a hardcore. So I made a hardcore plugin which basically allows you to uh, only have one life and it keeps track of your stats. So if you do HC ADV, which is hardcore adventure, and you do stats, you'll see what your stats are. <coughs> so it tells you how long you've played, which is actual play time, and different stats. So for this achievement you need to get your MVP score up to 25. Now this MP MVP score is based on these stats, so the more of these things that you get, then uh, you'll get a higher MVP score. And you can kind of see the value of each based on the achievements. So I have achievements for the Hardcore plugin. So if you get to level 10, you'll get a bronze, level 30, you'll get a, a silver, level 300, you'll get a gold. I don't even know if that's possible to get level 300, I've never seen anyone get to level 300, but... I mean, that's why it's gold. It's freaking impossible to get, basically. But I think the main way that people upgrade this is they kill a whole bunch of monsters. So if you kind of stack yourself out up with gear, then you can kind of get a bunch of monster kills. And you'll get the 25 MVP real quick. Um, so once you get the, the, the score of, 50, or of 25, then you let an admin know, and then you will uh, get ranked up. So next is Landscaper. So this is a joke. John is playing a joke on everyone, so I'm going like, to get rid of this now. But basically what this rank is going to uh, introduce you to are two uh, plugins. One that's really new, I just made this uh, Pictionary type plugin, which we call uh, Sketchcraft. And you have to get so many points in Sketchcraft. So if you do Sketch Stats, you can kind of see your Sketch Stats. So I have a high score, how many wins I've had, uh, number of plays, the total number of points, for Etc. Cetera, et cetera. And you can kind of, uh, what we're going to have for that is you're going to have to get so many points. And once you get that many points, then you're, that's the first part done. So this one's a kind of two-parter. The second part is we go to uh, Mordon, which is our RPG world. So I made a plugin, which is RPG, and if you type forward slash hub, that's how I got here, it brings you to the portal hub. So these are giant portals that travel to different worlds. This is also where you get to the Sketchcraft world, so this is Sketchcraft world. When you go in there, you, uh, you can play Sketchcraft. And just let us know if you want to play. Uh, anyone can play it. Um, also these ranks, I mean the stats kind of stay there. And so uh, if you do like the hardcore early on before getting to that rank, you can do that and then just instantly rank up, for example. But um, this is how you get play uh, that plugin, the, the Pictionary plugin. So if you want to go to Lordaeron, which is the RPG world, this portal is the one you want. So RPG world, you head through it, it'll teleport you, 
if it will load. All right, so now I am in RPG. Holy lag. All right, there we go. Now I'm probably lagging because I'm recording this, but this is the newbie area. I really recommend reading just about all these signs because RPG basically changes everything in the game. It adds stats, like all of my other plugins. Keeps track of your level. It has uh, attributes, so you have strength, defense, and agility. Strength uh, basically enhances your abilities, so it makes you have a higher chance of uh, laying critical hits and things like that, and stuff like that. And so you can upgrade these stats as you level up. So when you level up, you get three attribute points, and you can kind of allocate them where you want. You also have how many deaths you've had, your bounty, so I do keep track if you're a good player or not. So for example, if you're going around killing uh, civilians like in villages, or if you're killing other people that are uh, not criminals, then you'll start getting a bounty on your head. And this bounty is an XP bounty. So the XP bounty basically um, removes like a percentage of your XP based on how high your bounty is. But it's only your XP towards your next level, so you won't lose all your XP or anything like that. But it also tells you what your crit chance is, dodge chance. In my case, I'm a thief, so it also has a pick chance, which is when you increase agility, it will increase your pick chance. Now, all these things are described in all, on all these signs. There are tons of things in this volume, so definitely read up on it. We also have uh, premium classes. Currently, the only premium class is the robot. The robot's freaking cool because he'll like take damage in the rain. It's really freaking hard to play as, but if you manage to level him up, you um, you can really uh, lay some damage. Now, this class actually it is a donator class only, so you have to donate in order to get access to it, unfortunately. But we have the basic classes, and we go through the quick the three classes they have access to. So we have Bounty Hunter, the Thief, and the Merchant. And each of them have their own special abilities. For example, um, the, uh, the Tier 1 Bounty Hunter is, has the ability to track players. And so they can track people with bounties. Uh, now these tiers are based on your level, and so when you get to a certain level you'll upgrade to your second tier and it'll give you new abilities. So for example, Tier 2 uh, you, for the Hunter, if you uh, hold a flint and you right click it, it will throw it as a shuriken at someone. So it kind of shoots as an arrow. So that's what that's all about. And Thief, they have the ability to pick locks using sticks. So these are like locks protected by a plugin. And when you use a stick on the lock, it will have a percent chance to, to pick that lock and open it for you. Uh, tier 2, you can vanish. So when you, you sneak around, you'll be invisible. Um, and then tier three, you can climb walls, which is really freaking cool. So definitely, FIFA is probably the most popular class. Um, Merchant is really cool. You get this own personal minecart. I'll show you. I'll set myself as a merchant. So as you can see, I have a little minecart that kind of follows me around, and I can access it and store stuff in it. Or when I left click it, it'll turn, transform into a chest, and all your items are uh, transform or transferred over. That's what that's all about. I think there's a bunch of chests that are clogging up spawn. I don't know why all these, these people are... It's not letting me open it for some reason. Let me check. I mean, it was a chest. There we go. Yeah, I think there's a bunch of old LOWC protection that are, like, covering this area here. So I'll clean that up pretty soon. Alright. And I'll set myself to punch it off. Anyway, so that's RPG. Now, RPG is probably our most popular plugin on here. A lot of people like to play it. But uh, we recently moved to this new world, um, World 9. And so uh, a lot of people have been playing uh, and building new stuff in the world. So that's what's going on. Yeah, RPG. Good time. Also, by the way, if you do hub, I mean, you might as well show this. This is the uh, world for um, hardcore. So when you enter the hardcore world, you'll be transported to the hardcore world. And it's really, it is hard. Oh yeah, and if you die, because when you die, 
you lose all your stats. So you only get one life. So all your stats that you've gained from that plugin that are from here, those will be reset if you die. But you have you, I do keep track of your best stats. So if you do best, it will kind of tell you, okay, this is the longest you've ever survived and stuff like that. Uh, you know, if you do die, you can do HCADV, ADV, add, and that will add you. I'm already on it, so I'm in there. Anyways, so let me head back to Newbie. Let me see if there's anything else that I want to add before I end this video. I think that's it. I mean, one thing that's really cool that we've added in World 9 is you're able to uh, rank up to admin from artists. So if you complete this rank here, you will be ranked up to artisan or to bro, which is our first admin rank. And then we don't have any set uh, rank up requirements for the admin ranks, but um, if you're really helpful and we trust you, then we'll rank you up even higher, all the way up to admin or even root admin, which has access to all the server files. But, I mean, we have not even contemplating ranking someone from all the way from Holdinger all the way to Root Admin, but if you do manage to do it, then that, that's cool. That would be really impressive. Uh, one thing that you should definitely do is, in order to rank up from Architect, you need to get 100 votes. So you definitely need to start voting as soon as you uh, come on. But, I mean, we might change this, we might reduce this, but it's always good to vote because it gives you free stuff. Anyways, uh, just some credits. I want to thank our buddy Cag. He don donated a freaking awesome server, which is run on this, or what, which uh, this game is running on, or the server is running on. Uh, it has like 32 gigs of RAM, really fast disk, and it's just an awesome, awesome server. I've been kind of keeping up with it. Anyways, thanks for uh, stopping by. And if you do come on, just uh, let me know you've seen the video, and I'll uh, give you a reward or something. But um, hope to see you online. All right, see you.